welcome back to life with Aisha and today I'm back with another sneaker review um, I've been trying to kind of like slow down on my purchases um, on my purchases which I have um, not really by choice but more so by force because sneakers have just been throwing L's here and there 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 from the side the front like that they just been knocking me out with these L's but today I'm doing a review of a shoe that to me I feel like it's kind of slipped on under the radar um there's been a couple releases of this model that was pretty hyped up but not to the point of where like the resale is like super duper high the pair of shoes I'm talking about are these New Balance um 327s 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 I'm trying to figure out how to say it it's just a really nice simplistic box it's like this um dark gray and then it has like this heather gray of the nb logo on top of it nothing too special about that this is uh the side of the box for um sizing and information purposes i did get these in a six and a half because i did a poll on monday and i know today is like wednesday i'm not sure when you'll see this video but my shoe literally came i would say in two days but it's really like a day but they shipped yesterday they shipped on tuesday and there was I, they arrived today i thought for sure this was another package coming from ups because i have like all of my shipping information under my ups my choice account so i knew i had something coming i just didn't know it was this package and i said wow that's extremely fast shipping i did purchase these from um hippie sports i'm pretty sure they may still be available these did come out this particular color it came out in men's and kids and when i saw that 65 dollar price for kids versus i think it was 130 or 120 for men or even maybe more i said yes i'm going to jump on it so i did like a little poll i asked like a couple people that i knew personally that had purchased new balance and they were like you know kind of look at some reviews because they said new balance sizing can be tricky someone told me that it was kind of comparable to adidas and i know in a lot of adidas i can typically size down but in some of them i am true to size and that's kind of what i got when i was looking up these um the 327s is more of a newer model so it's not too many reviews out there which is why i said let me go ahead and throw mine on youtube since i am a grade school size and i didn't see any videos for grade school sizing so i got these in the six and a half because i was advised to go up um the box does say medium on it so it's like a medium width and um it's kind of a narrower shoe let's just get right into it let's take my packing slip out the tissue paper does say new balance fearlessly independent since 1906 i think that you can see that most notable pair of new balance i want to say are the 990s or the v 990 v2s or something like that like i know a little bit about new balance i just personally don't really i haven't really bought them the only pair of new balance that i did want to get my hands on was the joe joe fresh collab um i mentioned him in a couple videos back or my last video i think um because he's a clothing designer but he did do a collab during the all-star weekend with new balance it was not this model it was a totally different model and that's a shoe that's heavily sought out like if you have got your hands on that shoe then what who is your plug because unless you stood in line or you were on like maybe the pr list to the shoe to get sent to you don't have this shoe in your position so these are the shoes here and i know it's a little different for me you know it, to me it does feel like it's going to be a super comfortable shoe but i will say that by looking at this shoe not having tried it on or anything i will say that this six and a half it looks like i could have went with a six I, I pretty much can eyeball a shoe i can't remember the last time i tried a shoe on before purchasing it even in store i just feel like this it looks narrow but i don't have a wide foot i don't have like a super like skinny foot either i just it's kind of like medium like how the box said but i really feel like i could have went through the size in this in the six but you know no issue with that this did come in a shoe it's just this um it says in the case of exposure to moisture you may experience color migration meaning like the color bleeding on other parts of it onto the lighter sections of the shoe which would be here and here um this migration is due to the deep suede color and is inherent to the natural material migration may also occur from darker lining dark collar linings onto light colored socks due to normal wear and perspiration if your shoe does become wet insert absorbent paper towel and place the shoe on this side to dry out of the sun let shoes dry naturally no hair dryers clothes dryers ovens etc 
I've never heard this seen this in a shoe. Let me know if this comes in all New Balance shoes because that's interesting. Um, I will say that I know back in the day, like when you used to be kind of like ready to wear a pair of like dark wash jeans and you were wearing with your shoes, the dye from the pants, if you didn't wash them before, would get on the um, lining of the shoe ankle part. But never heard of the shoe bleeding onto your club. I don't know. That's interesting to me. Nonetheless, let's pray and fingers crossed that that does not happen. I will say this shoe does is very vibrant. Like you can look at the colors and tell that it is super, um, I guess, heavily dyed maybe. I don't know. But um, I like this shoe. It's I like the material of it. It's like a nylon upper and mixed in with suede. It's very well made. What's one thing I've always heard about New Balance is that they're the quality is there and um the materials that the shoes are made up are really nice um so that's a good thing on um, the side panel and kind of heel of the shoe it does have the new, the new balance wording 327 right there so that's pretty cool um this is really a thin um tongue you know sometimes your shoes are thick so i really feel like the shoes will be very comfortable on i have no doubts about that um it, I, just for the color purposes this is a navy i'm getting navy blue from the toe box area I am getting kind of like a um it's a little bit lighter than a royal blue but it's in the royal blue family the midsole I would say it's like a marigold and the end to me it's kind of the same color but this is slightly more yellow gold this has more of a yellow undertone this has more of a golden undertone um I don't know if it's gonna you're gonna get that from the shoe but um to me this is like a laney colorway um if you know anything about Jordans or anything like that I'm getting very laney vibes from this I love yellow white and blue colors on shoes because those were my high school colors so it always you know it's a feel good type of purchase if I can get like that color on a shoe and the bottom of the shoe it does have like these little bitty um like dots all over the bottom that's why it's kind of like a lug kind of i don't know how to describe it but it's a real like rugged um sole so i think these will be super comfortable i'm happy with this pickup 65 bucks you can't beat that um i will leave the link in the description box if they are still available i'm pretty sure it is like i said this is not a sought out colorway of the shoe it was just something that i knew was simple um you know sometimes you want to grab a shoe that's not heavily sought after and i don't have to fight with the internet bots and everybody all over the world to get the shoe i will say that i do think this model will you know start to get more hype as time goes on particular model shoe it did have a size collab s-i-z-e question mark that brand and they did do a collab with the new balance 327 and those were dope i wish i had come across those but like i said those had like more hype attached to it but um yeah so definitely check these out let me know like what are you thinking like you know is this you is it not you what do you think about it it does give like a tennis feel to me like you know like the racket playing tennis feel um that's what i'm getting from it i'm also getting like a 80s 70s type of vibe to it so it does look like an older model type of shoe to me but that's going to bring us to the end of this video like i said my camera is trying to overheat on me and we don't have time to keep stopping and recording stopping and recording so as always remember to like comment subscribe and share um thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video